Yo, Wagwan people, most of them back for another video, okay? Look, it's been only a couple of days since the last. I'm getting more consistent. I'm grinding, doing videos weekly. Okay, I want my cheers, my congratulations, you know what I mean? Come on, come on. But look, we're going to get right into this. Today, we're going to be talking about Tyson Fury versus Francis Ngannou. It just got announced today, okay? The PFL was posting it, Tyson Fury was posting it, and Francis Ngannou was posting it. Even Happy Punch posted it, so it's got to be legit. Okay, supposedly this fight's happening in Saudi Arabia, which makes sense. They don't have money to make these big fights we want to see happen. With all that being said, I would like to touch on the reason that this is happening in the first place. To be fair, in my opinion, it's got a lot to do with influence of boxing. Obviously, Mayweather McGregor, that fight set the stage, sort of set the precedent for this sort of gimmick combat sports shit to happen. Okay, and I'm happy. I'm happy it happened. I'm happy to see it. But after that Mayweather McGregor stuff, Listen, influencer boxing took it and ran with it, okay? Mayweather McGregor walked, so KSI, Misfits, Kingpin, Jake Paul with his influencer fights, everyone can run with that shit, okay? It's a big scene now. But to see the scene go from pro boxing calling it a shambles and a clown show, to go from that to seeing pro boxing doing these their own gimmick fights, to seeing MMA stars fighting pro boxing stars. We've got the pro boxing world champion against the MMA world champion. And yes, Ngannou is the champ in my heart. John Jones, you ducked because of Dana White, your dad, pussy. Nonetheless, I do want to touch on how this fight's actually going to happen in terms of the rule sets, the gloves, what's happening there. Because I know in the lead up, they were talking about, obviously, you know, there's going to be uh, MMA gloves, uh, kicking rule set, like no leg kicks, just body kicks, head kicks. Like, I was like, hmm. Me personally, what I'm hoping for is they do an exactly boxing rule set, but with like an MMA closed grip glove. And what I mean by that is like a UFC glove, but instead of you being able to open your hand, it's like the same MMA glove, but it's just closed. So you can't open your hand and like get your fingers out. Aye, but speaking of all of that influencer boxing stuff, I do have to say, I'm sorry to say, it's sad to say, but Ngannou, Francis Ngannou, the predator himself, is a better promoter than half of the Misfits roster, okay? He does a weekly series on his channel leading into fight camp. Just him going about his day, training, balancing training with life, going to his interviews, going to his camera, saying little side things to the camera, bringing his personality out on show and promoting his fucking fight. When is Misfits roster gonna do this? I've been saying that you can do that for time. I don't have enough time to promote, I've been training. Bro, yes you do. Look at him go on, he's training for a real pro MMA fight, okay? And he has time weekly to make videos because he just pays a fucking cameraman to follow him around. You man are rich. Deji, you're rich now. Bro, you're rich. Just pay a cameraman to follow you around. You make your jokes here and there. It's a giggly, giggly fucking vlog. People will be happy. And then at the end of it, you say, guys, buy my pay-per-view on this date at this Misfits event. Miss -miss event. It's not hard. Just do it. Francis Ngannou is bringing all of that stock to the table with him. And Tyson Fury, you know, he's he's Tyson Fury. Have you got a big Tory? Huh? Have you got a big Tory? <laughs> oh, no. Big what? Big <laughs> Tory. Hey. You know, the guy that ducked you sick and now he has to fight MMA fighters. But look, with all that being said, I am excited for this fight, okay? I'm very, very hyped for this fight. I'm rooting for Ngannou, just like all of you lot should be. And I'll tell you exactly why. It's because Tyson Fury is a clown. Yeah, very dull, dear. <laughs> He's a shambles. And he's moving like a fucking circus. Well, I burst into tears. I was crying. I was up the floor a lot. Whereas on the other side, you've got Ngannou. He's got one of the best stories in all of combat sports history. I don't care who. His story. His story, if you actually line it up, it matches up with things like fucking Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. All these all-time greats, all my days, their story, how they came into the sport is crazy. And Garnu might even trump their story, bro, if you actually do the research. Matter of fact, let me know in the comments below. Should I do Ngarnu's story? Should I tell you it? Should I orate it? Should I commentate it? But look, that's all I had to say in this video today. You know the drill. If you disagreed with anything that I said in this video, then suck your mom.